Morning, everybody. It's your old pal Linton. Happy Friday to you. I hope you're well and safe. On the, our Friday walk this morning, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the reasons why we can't just open up more galleries and uh, welcome more visitors into the museum. It's a little bit more complicated than you might think, and I want to illustrate that point by taking a walk through the Islamic corridor. So join me, won't you? You might remember that this gallery was completely redesigned last year and is a real masterpiece. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. But as we walk into this space, I want you to think about social distancing, okay? Because when this was designed, nobody considered six feet of space between everybody. So you've got lots of objects that are kind of tucked into corners. You've got doorways like this. Can two people go through this doorway at the same time and maintain social distancing? The fact is they cannot. So we're gonna have to figure some things out. I mean, the possibilities include redesigning the entire gallery um, so that it doesn't have, you know, alcoves and things like that that are tight. Um, or maybe we consider something else. Maybe we make it a one-way gallery, you know? So now we've got do not enter signs at various parts of the museum and a couple more dead ends to frustrate our visitors. There's no easy answer but how many people do you think can tuck into this alcove to look at this beautiful display? One, two, maybe, at the most? Um, so those are some of the challenges. You can't just go oh, open the gallery and welcome more people in. You have to reconsider everything. Um, and I just wanted to make that point because a lot of visitors have been asking, but I also wanted to have an excuse to take a walk through the Asian wing, which we haven't seen in quite a while. Southeast Asian gallery here. And in particular, I wanted to go upstairs and show you the Buddhist temple gallery. So come along with me. We'll go up the dragon staircase and see what we can find. Oh, we've even got some light up here. So you can see the conservation space here. All of the objects from the Buddhist Temple Gallery have been moved into here. And unfortunately, this project is, you know, delayed and on hold a little bit. Get a load of this. Look at that laying on its back. You'll rarely see it <laughs> uh, displayed like this. Pretty beautiful. Pretty amazing in this setting, right? The ancient and the new. Pretty amazing. And I'll pop you into the Buddhist temple gallery itself and just show you a weird sight, which is a totally empty gallery. So one of the reasons also to let you know that we took on this project is because this wall right here is an exterior wall and what that means is that uh, the outside is on the other side of that wall. And there has been some water that's gotten inside of it. There's been some mildew and some damage because of that. And so we got to fix that before we can lay these statues up against it. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching and listening. I hope you're uh, taking care of yourself and being safe. As always, we miss you. We're lucky to have you. And I'll see you next time.